Hello, Ron Mithril here once again, back to the Mega Man Rock Force Blind Run. So we've got two weapons now, the Crypt Cloak and the Viral Outbreak. Unfortunately, I'm not really sure who to use either of them on. Hmm. So you know, I'm just gonna go with a stage that kinda intrigues me. Let's find out what Charade Man is all about. Okay. Okay, those are the spine analogs, but you can actually shoot them. And is that a top hat met? <laughs> yes, it is. Doesn't seem like it does anything unique, but that just amuses me. It's a very classy met. All it needs is a monocle. Okay. Come to think of it, let's try this out. It doesn't seem to actually be draining any resources, that's kind of un interesting. Still don't have anything that can blast open those walls. Uh, wait, what? <laughs> okay. I see. It's trying to yank me backwards into spikes, I think. <laughs> I like the little tap dancing robots. Not all of the cane is actually solid. Whoa! Hi there, Gorilla Tank, Tabby, Hippo Platter, and, uh, October. Whoa! <laughs> Did I just shoot an exploding piñata? <laughs> oh god, is a lantern fish? A uh, net dispenser back there? Huh. I'm going to guess that's not a solid platform. Uh, little test. Yeah, you go through that like that's not even there. Huh. But what's the purpose of that, then? Wait a minute. Okay, science. That makes me look the same as those blocks. And I can walk over them, then. I see. That's interesting. That is very interesting. Okay. At any rate, I'm going to guess I can't walk on those platforms, and I'm not going to test it right now. Oh, hi there, Screw Bomber. I didn't even see you up there. <laughs> but you're kind of all over the place, aren't you? All right. Oh, another one I didn't quite see. Uh, let's just get out of your range. Boss already? Shadow Man? But there's no life bar and... You're imitating Shadow Man's movements, but not his attacks. Interesting. But there's no life bar, so I don't think this is actually the boss just yet. A preview of things to come? Oh, no. Oh, gods. You would. <laughs> okay. Well, all right then. Huh? 
how can I get that? What? And wait a minute. Why is that met floating? Aha, invisible walls. So that's your game, is it? Oh. Oh, that's diabolical. That's what that is. I have to remember where enemies can position themselves so that I know what's safe to land on. Oh. That is interesting. That is interesting. How many lives am I at anyway? Okay. How far do you come this way? Alright. But you go under that net, so there's a sliding spot there. Okay. I see. Alright. That's what we're doing here. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why the exploding pinatas make me laugh so much, but they do. Make sure I'm out of your range. And your blast radius. Okay, the large energy over there, so not worth it. Ow. Yeah, and I see you over there too. All right. Whoa, what the? Um... Suddenly bombs everywhere! Okay, but they don't... They can't hurt you on the way up. It's only when they land that they'll hurt you. Oh, gods, do I have time to actually switch and get that? Alright. <laughs> that was a hectic little room! Okay, we're going old school. And we're getting another extra life, apparently. We're having a boss hallway that you actually have to clear enemies out of. Alright. There's the gate, but they faked me out before. But this time it's really him, okay. <laughs> nice little animation there. Okay. You do not like the Crypt Cloak. Some sort of reference to dying on stage or something? <laughs> Tornado Man. Get equipped with... Charade Clone. Uh... I'm not really sure I get what that's about. I don't know that I understand that weapon from the demo. <laughs> That's going to require some experimentation. Well, anyway, that's three down, and at least we know one weakness now. Charade Man is weak to the Crypt Cloak. Alright. So, refreshing pause time, and back in a moment.
Going back through this stage in the newest version, nothing particularly jumped out at me as something major that changed. Though, I did notice that all the bombs in that one last hallway were actually tomatoes being thrown at the stage. Nice touch. Though before we bring the curtain down on this little play, it is worth having a bit of a rematch with Charade Man himself. The stage itself basically stayed the same, but Charade Man has gotten a lot tougher. The blue orbs that he fires off are more dangerous now. After they've bounced around for a while, they form diagonal shot patterns, giving you a lot that you have to keep an eye on in this fight. He's always had the question mark orbs, he just didn't really get a chance to show them off in the recorded fight. They form clones of Charade Man, and you really want to get rid of them as soon as you can. They stack up quickly, and they have a nasty habit of getting right in the way. Yeah, that was almost a near thing right there. Yeah, that fight is a bit hectic. A lot going on there. A couple of notes I would say. It does kind of seem like maybe the blue orbs on the blue background can be a bit much. I think that could either be fixed by either changing the palette a little bit, or at least making it so that when the blue orbs are about to fire, they flash a little bit before they explode. But anyway, with that we get the charade clone, which by now I know what it actually does. And we also have the perfect A parts. Man, yeah, if you want to get a perfect beat part fighting charade man, good luck. <laughs> He's one that I'm not looking forward to perfect running. <laughs> oh, man. That took longer to record than I really thought it would, but uh, yeah, there we go. So with that, thank you very much for watching, I hope you're enjoying the series so far, and I shall see you again next time. Until then, fare thee well.